Good afternoon traders. It is Monday, March 2nd, 2015 and the U.S. stock market is closed. The Dow really confounded me today. You know, we had this big uh, sell-off on Friday and it looked to me like it was going right down the tubes and this morning it just exploded topside, danced around my red line, and then clearly it penetrated it and closed on its high. <coughs> now, that is, of course, a new record high for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Unfortunately, I'm getting sick of these record highs because we don't do well for some reason when the Dow uh, makes record highs. Our stocks, the stocks we trade, are basically really not volatile enough to really uh, produce big profits right now. And uh, it, it is very frustrating to me. We, we closed out $1,100 in profits. Well, it's profitable, but what happened to our $20,000 days? I mean, we just are not seeing that anymore. And of course, that wasn't that long ago, but it seems like a long ago to me because that's kind of what I'm used to doing. And $1,100 on a day that the Dow gained 155 points is not so hot. Furthermore, we got in to 11 positions today and normally you know 11 positions with the Dow and this kind of action you would expect we'd be holding quite a bit of money actually we're holding negative $75 basically break even so you know technically we're positive but just barely positive and this is on a day when the Dow Jones Industrial Average made new record highs and basically was in buying mode the whole time. So I'm a little bit disgusted with these markets, but then again, you know, I've been doing this over 20 years and I got to admit most probably by far the majority of these days I am disgusted with the markets, but um, I don't count today is a very good day. We did have a couple decent trades and I'll show them to you. Um, this first one here is so uh, let's see this is our auto butyl and uh, we had bought this huge gap on Friday. I mean just look at it. This thing was just massive. Talking about kind of scary but it uh, held on pretty good and then gapped up this morning and we got out of it and in spite of and, 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 and you know it closed about where we got out so uh, in spite of our getting out early on this it, it, it proved to be a pretty decent exit point and believe it or not we took out uh, about uh, $3,500 out of Autobutyl so that was a really nice trade and thank God we didn't get re-entered into it because that might have been a little scary even more scary than this at least to me but anyway great trade in Autobutyl and uh, and then another one here is also in a stock Amba Amberilla and um, I'm having a little trouble here today. Let's move this over. There we go. Okay, this was this was this is a wild trade because on Friday we had this pop up and we bought it, and then the darn thing turns around and goes against us. And I'm not sure just that, you know I mean we were probably down about fifteen hundred dollars there on the close. And this morning, this thing just takes off and screams and screams and ends up closing almost on its high. 
and we're carrying you know close to twenty five hundred dollars there in um, Amberilla in open trade so you know uh, that's pretty good but two stocks does not a market make and uh, we uh, we are just kind of uh, getting out of today with some very marginal profit so I hope things will go better tomorrow uh, this is Trader Bob signing off I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday